Week off. Week off. But they're good people. Thanks for coming on the show. Jason Bell, Paul Carriage. Thanks for having me. Okay, we'll take a break and Steve the Spellmaster is back. He's hypnotised everyone in the world. They're on here a bit soon. Sooner. <laughs> Having won 10 games in a row, the Eels are entitled to celebrate. Troy Campbell is certainly enjoying the team's success. The players were back on the job today after their stirring 28-22 win over highly rated Newcastle. Lanky fullback Paul Carriage typifies the Eels. He scored their opening try. Then he followed it with a blunder from an Andrew Johns bomb. For about five minutes after it was, I was a bit disappointed and, and wanted to make up for it. but um. The guys are really good and they said keep your head up and I tried to do that. On the dole until recently securing a two-year contract, the player they call Action lived up to his nickname, atoning for his previous blunder with one of the tries of the year. Paul Carriage, he does it for the Eels! I come to the fullback, it was Leo Denver, wasn't it? Yeah, and I thought, well, I better go right and try and swivel around him that side because Albert was on the other side of the field and I knew that he could probably run me down from behind, so... Uh, Luckily I got around him and just kept going and no one caught me. Spiced in between Carriage's agony and ecstasy was another remarkable try instigated by the Knights, John's brothers. Mark Hughes, what a try for... Having extracted their revenge on Newcastle, the Electric Eels have now targeted Manly. If Parramatta can beat Manly on Friday night, the Eels will be close to equaling a 20-year-old club record of 12 straight wins. It's, it's a real test. The, uh, the Premiers last year, so if we can roll them, uh, we'll be standing in good stead for the semis. And Brisbane Test forward Glenn Lazarus's career is in the balance after breaking his leg in the Broncos' 30-4 World Club Challenge win over Wigan. Oh, awfully goes underneath. Oh yes, that is a bad one. I am. Copping a spray is just what the Parramatta Club feel they've received from the ARL since the State of Origin series started. It's left them without five of their top players. There's not a better answer to what we've been dealt with. Uh, two Friday night games after uh, State of Origin where we've got five players in and then to be scheduled on the first week and not have five players. And if I couldn't come up with a better system than that, I'd hand my chips in. The Eels have won six on the trot in their best winning run since 1982. But with origin and injuries combined, 17 players are missing for the danger game with the Crushers. I'm pretty confident that our players, based on the way they've trained this week, that they'll give a real good account of themselves and we'll get the money. The Crushers shocked the Eels 23-6 in the first round and revenge is on the Parramatta players' minds. Sunday's game is vital for fullback Paul Carriage, who was on an incentive contract with the club but now looks set to secure his long-term future. 23-year-old Paul Carriage has been a bonus for the Eels. He's on the dole, was sent off against his former club Illawarra, but has now turned it all around. He's worked very hard and uh, you know, our management are speaking with Paul and his, ma and his manager at the moment about a, a deal with our club and I think you'll find that, that Paul will be staying with us and we're all pretty happy. I think he is as well. For Carriage, it's been a real struggle. He's still looking for part-time work and it has affected his football. Early on, I have to say, it was a bit stressful because I was obviously on a tight budget and worrying a lot about money, but um, now it's um, a bit less stressful, yeah. In Salford, Ozzy John Harvey is the new head coach at the Willows, replacing Andy Gregory. He's his first Super League post, but he's promising, once he's recovered from jet lag, that he'll help the Reds move out of the bottom three. What have you made of England so far, John? Beautiful weather yesterday, <laughs> and not bad today too, the sun's out. Um, no, uh, well, I haven't, I'm still a bit jet lagged, so, uh, uh, but the people have been great to me. Uh, John Wilkinson, uh, Graham McCarty, uh, the board looked after me so far, so uh, everything looks great. Well, Paul, what do you know about John? Um, I know Harves comes from Byron Bay and he's uh, played a lot of uh, first grade in his time. And he's coached at um, Gold Coast and he's uh, pretty well respected as far as I know. Looking forward to starting your season now. Yeah, well it'll be by the time Rudy Mia gets over here, he's my condition and uh, skills coach, so he'll be over here on Sunday and uh, it'll probably take another three or four days before we sort of get into full gear, but um, yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to it. 
What do you think as an Australian he'll bring to Salford Reds? Hopefully a lot of new ideas and um, just basically sort of get us all playing to our potential. And if we do that, I think um, we'll improve. What have you made of the Salford team so far? You've been training with them this morning. Um, well, I haven't seen the captain yet. Um, he's always got a couple of commitments elsewhere, and David Hinnon. But uh, they've got a lot of experience, and uh, there's some good youth coming through. And uh, Steve Blakely being injured doesn't help our cause at the moment. But, um, he's a big asset to the club. Uh, but uh, no, I think they've got plenty of potential. And, uh, but like I said, they've got to start uh, knocking the opposition over a bit more. So uh, they can score tries, but uh, there's no good scoring a try limit to him. Are you glad to have a fellow Australian in charge? Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Talk your language. Yeah, that's right. I mean, uh, not criticising any of the English um, coaches, but Australians are definitely ahead of England, and it's got to be an improvement, hasn't it? And you want the Salford fans to get behind John as well as they've got behind the team? Yeah, I'm sure they will. I mean, they, they've been great so far, the Salford fans. They're really rowdy, <laughs> much rowdier than back in Oz. So, yeah, I like the fans. What about the Salford fans? You haven't had the experience of them yet, but they're very rowdy. I've already met two. I um, met one last night at the John Gilbert Hotel at uh, Wor Worsley, is it? And uh, he, he gave me a bit of a lecture, and uh, no, he was, he was quite good. And one fellow out at the training session today, so uh, like I said, they're very passionate out here. They are very passionate, so you've got to transmit that onto the pitch and get some results now. That's, that's right, yeah. Uh, well, uh, we've got a few months to do it, so hopefully we can turn things around.